Uh, obviously, you understand the content of this. Once the world sees this film, and once they see the ships that they transport the children in and all of this stuff, um, well, there's, there's no other film like this. Our industry can't make this film um, right now because of a lot of people that are involved in it all over the world that are in this. Um, and many of these people are very famous. I, I kind of started there with Tim. And uh, when he started to show me uh, all of the hell that they have to look at, um, you know, it's when I bring this up to people, they, I'm not for trafficking of children. I want to stop it. And uh, Tim would always tell me, you know, when you're playing this, just remember that because this hell that you have to look at, most of the guys I bring in and they've seen the worst stuff that you've ever seen, it's just what they do to children. Children are nothing more than it, like a cow. It's already past the drug trade, okay? This is like, if you were to watch Schindler's List, you would say, boy, that was terrible. I wish I was around that, maybe I could have done something. But you can do something now and we can end this. When it, your child is taken, you're never going to see that kid again. And at that point, you probably wished you would have done something. We're at that point right now. And if we let our little ones continue to be slaughtered, boy, there's going to be a judgment on this world, and especially our country. Thank you. Now, Jim, uh, Tim, you're playing, you're playing the, the role of Tim Ballard. And... Uh, uh, Tim is actually continuing to save kids. I mean, this is, you're making a movie about it, but this is what he does. And he... Um, uh, he, here today. he was supposed to be in the room with me in, uh, in right here or in Tulsa, but he's down there saving children as we speak because they're pulling kids out of the darkest recesses of hell right now in dumbs and all kinds of places. Uh, the adrenochroming of children, the... I mean, look, we're, where we're at right now, uh, hopefully, we need your prayers. This film is, when when Tim Ballard came down to Bogota and we had about finished two thirds of it, I said, why did you pick me? And he said, well, they actually, they didn't want you. They wanted someone else. But um, uh, I said, well, I got to tell you, uh, I did this movie, Monte Cristo and The Passion. And about two thirds of the way through, I knew we were onto something that was phenomenal. And I said, I feel that with this film. And he goes, well, actually, it was those two films that I saw that is why I had to have you in this in my film. So, um, sorry. No, Jim, you you said you said a word a minute ago, and I, I want to clarify what that word was because you said a word, and yeah. I want to make sure that you said adrenochrome. Yeah. And a lot of people here, there's about 4,500 people here. There's yep. uh, about a half million people streaming online. We're having some cyber attacks that feed's been going on and off. It's, it's a, but you said that word, and by yep. a show of hands, who's heard that word before in this building? Could you please explain to the extent that you want to or not want to what that is? Because some people have never heard that before, and we need to discuss that. Uh, essentially, you have adrenaline in your body. I'll just simplify it. And, and when you are scared, you produce adrenaline. Uh, if you're an athlete, you get in the fourth quarter, you have adrenaline that comes out of you. If a child knows he's going to die, uh, his body will uh, secrete this uh, adrenaline. Um, and they have a lot of terms that they use that he takes me through. But um, it's the worst horror I've ever seen is screaming alone, even if I never, ever, ever, ever saw it. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's beyond, and these people that do it, um, there'll be no mercy for them. And the, when I, at that point where I have tears coming out of my eyes because uh, my heart is so on fire, I'm fearless. You're fearless. You're the best that you will ever be when God is in your heart like that. And when it's burning, you're fearless, and you don't, you don't, you're no, uh, you're not afraid of the devil. You actually hunt him. And any of them that hurt our little children in the film, uh, there's a line in there where he says, 
um, why are you doing this? And I say to him, as Tim said, because God's children are not for sale. They're not for sale. You can't do it anymore, Satan. And we're coming after you. And I'm not afraid, and I'd ask you all not to be afraid either, because they're worth saving. They're giving you a standing ovation right here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. been doing this 12 years how do you do it it is the fastest growing international crime network that the world has ever seen it has already passed the illegal arms trade and soon it's going to pass the drug trade You're walking into a room right now, seeing an empty bed. What will we tell? Shivering stars drift around in the sky. We're Homeland Security. You know we can't go off rescuing kids in Colombia. Like this job tears you to pieces. This is my one chance to put those pieces back together. We're talking about extracting an 11 year old girl from an army of rebels. Not just her. I'm talking about rescuing hundreds of kids. She could be a block down the road, or she could be in Moscow, Bangkok, LA. Over two million children a year are being sucked into the deepest recesses of hell. If we do nothing, someday it's gonna reach the likes of you. What if this was your daughter?